Welcome, welcome, welcome into the Doobie Daddy Podcast. Featuring myself, Doobie Daddy, we would like to thank you for coming in our stream. This podcast is intended for viewers over the age of 18. If you're under the age of 18, then you should get the f*** out. This stream deals with medical and recreational marijuana and all things stoner. You now, so rejoice. This stream is ours. We are now in control. Streaming is about to change forever. We offer you all entertainment, education, inclusion, and so much more. We are the United Team Collective. Culture. You can look for our edited content on YouTube, where you'll find strain reviews, unboxings, and oh, so much more. If you're looking to get in contact with me, you can check out my Linktree link and find me on all of my socials. We ask for respect for everyone in the chat as well as those on our stream. Please stand by as the stream begins. Well, hello there. Hello there, Tick. And hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and peoples of all genders. It is Ozzy. I am back once more. And again. I am here. You am Tick. You am Tick. I am not Tick. I am someone else. I am Oz. I am Doobie. I am Oz Doobie. I am Doobazzy. I am Doobie Daddy. I am the smoker of weed. You are also a smoker of weed, but you are not here. I am here, and here I am. So how goes it? And welcome in on a mental health Monday. <coughs> we have made it through another another wonderful weekend. We are back here. Nope, you am straight edge. Good on you then. Don't 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 go down the wicked devil path for for it may corrupt your soul and cause you to go to hell for all eternity. But you will burn with smoke coming out of you. And if you smoke enough weed, wait, wait, wait. yes, it's a gateway to wanting more weed, and a gateway to making food, and and a gateway to 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 like doing cool shit. Like, it's not a gateway to other drugs because I've been smoking weed for a while now, and I still don't want to do no dr no other drugs. I'm like, I am drug done. I'm like, I don't need drugs. I don't even want the shit that the doctors give me. They're like, oh, you need to take this. I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't really want that. If I can, if I can not, then, then I won't, because I don't want, because I, I don't want, because I don't want to. I mean, <gasps> oh, I am not waiting to be consistent. There's a blaze in here. Well, hello, blazing, and thank you for the lurkity lurk. Much love to you on this Mental Health Monday. Big props, big hugs, big kisses, big love to you. They call it Canubis! They call it Canubis! But, 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 but I wonder, what kind of boss is it? But, 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 because I, I've stood at the stop and I've never seen a cannon boss drive by! And blazing for, for you this evening. A short boss, a short boss, a short boss blazing for you this evening and, and of course for anyone who is gone and no longer with us. I can't do one dab for Blazin. I've got to do two dabs. Because Blazin's a twin. So we've got to honor Blazin tonight. And Blazin's twin tonight. By doing a DD special. A Doobie Daddy special. Which is also a double blinker. Alright. Haven't done a double blinker. Not, not a full double blinker with these in a while. So woo! Let's get ready. <laughs> Prep them lungs. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Thank <laughs> you. 
على but that's one double blinker and again I said blazon and we're honoring blazon's twin so that was one double blinker for the two of them but to make it a twin i gotta do two double blinkers right i mean that just <coughs> one and one is two but <coughs> two and two is four four and four is six six and nine is a fun time when you put them both together <coughs> Time to smoke. Boober. <laughs> All right. There you go, Blazin. For you and your twin, and a little bit for me. Just because I like smoking that that weedly stuff. Mm. Oh, whoo! Sheesh! <laughs> I got a lot done down here this weekend by sitting in my seat. Chilly. Yeah, I didn't do hardly shit. I took advantage of doing nothing. And I fucking loved it for, for months. <coughs> I mean, obviously, I didn't do nothing, nothing. I took my, my grandparent, one of, uh, My grandparents had passed a set of bureaus on to my dad, and then he passed them on to me and my sister. My sister had one of them in her room. The other one was down here. I grabbed it, <coughs> put it up in the bedroom for me, and brought the stuff that were that was where the where that was down, and uh, put most of my clothes, most, not all. I have a fuck ton of clothes. <coughs> So I put most of my clothes in there and then kind of settled to working on some other stuff. Didn't really, like I said, I, I didn't kill myself this weekend. Kind of took it easy. Today the plan was to work down here and then in the afternoon go out and do the uh, pressure washing on the back of the house. But the rain kind of changed that idea. So pressure washing is now on for tomorrow as long as we're not getting a bunch of rain um and other than that i guess curdy is going to come down after the show and we're going to go over what needs to be done tomorrow and what she wants to work on and what i'm going to try to work on <coughs> because it literally has taken me just about all day to get this new setup kind of set up because I move things around a little bit. I, you guys probably can't really tell much from the actual cameras or anything, but it is moved around a little bit here so I can access all three monitors. Only thing is, right now, this computer isn't showing up as having a secondary monitor, even though I'm monitored out to the TV. When I do it with the... <laughs> Oh, it's because I've got it in as a HDMI switch. Probably if I didn't switch it. Uh, probably when it is, it's not reading it for perfecter. It's not reading it for perfecter. Okay. Uh, guys, I don't, I, don't want, I don't want the other people to hear. This is only for you guys. This is a special thing. They're in break right now. So they're not going to hear any of this. This is special just for you guys. Because something weird, something freaking weird is going on here. And, and we need to talk about it. Just me and, me and you guys. 
Um, where is it? Where is it? These numbers. These numbers right there. Look at them numbers. Look at them numbers. Y'all, y'all are watching, but you're not subscribed. You're watching, but you're not subscribed. What? What? what you're, but, but why? Like, why? Like, I'm getting views, but you need you, you just subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube. It, it's it's the YouTube. It's it's the YouTube. You should subscribe to the YouTube. <laughs> yes. Um, I have mostly been posting just straight up the stuff right from here. Uh, as of late, but I am working very digitally, I'm working hard. I'm currently working very, very hard. Hard. Even harder than that. Harder. 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 I'm working hard to do more for you, to to send you more more shitty boobies and duties and all, all that fun. So bear with me, keep an eye, and make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe, subscribe. Hold on, I know it's here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I put it somewhere. No, I don't know. <laughs> oh well we are back to the show so so you guys didn't hear any of that that was only for the youtube community since this will be posted up over there but we were in commercials so you guys didn't hear anything okay and if you did pretend like you didn't hear okay just turn around walk away all right i want to be mean but i will if i got it just turn around walk the other you don't you did you what you think you saw you didn't see Okay, that's all I'm saying. So anyways, Monday, Mental Health Monday. You guys are probably saying, fuck, this dude needs some mental health counseling right there. Like, he's fucking crazy. Holy shit. And he ain't even, he's had four hits of weed that we've seen. That we've seen weed. Dab, just a dab little on dab. The this man dared dab to use two dabs. Now, now he's in he trouble. We refuse to be responsible. Dab, dab, just a little dab. A little dab, a little dab, 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 dab to dab the lemon. Okay, so I will grab this lemon. All right, that will be the first thing. Right? That after grabbing upon the lemon, I will open the lemon. Okay, within the confines of the opened container of the lemon, there are rocks. These rocks are crystals. They're concentrated crystals of THC and marijuana and shit like that. That fucking what? It's even cannabis. It's even cannabis. It's cannabis. It's THC. It's weed. It's delta eight. It, it, it's isn't that some amazing shit, man? Isn't that some amazing shit? The, the science that things can do when plants are stuff and things and things and stuff. So, I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that. Oh, oh, no, 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 sweetie, no. You, you don't, no, you don't, no. No, sweetie, no, huh, huh, no, oh, no, 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 no. This is not, this, no, no, this is not how we do things here. Yes, that's more like it. You sit with the rock, just hold it. Well, very nice. Yeah. You look pretty. You're beautiful. You're pretty. Just sorry. They can be divas sometimes. Sorry. Anyways, so you find yourself a nice little crystal, like so, and then you take that and you put it on your dab tool, like like you guys saw. I think you saw. You did you saw? I saw. I saw. If I saw, then you saw. Unless C saw. Anyways, I'm I'm getting distracted. Why are you guys distracting? What is going on? Why are you distracting? Why are you distracting? What? I'm just gonna take a hit. You guys just sit there while I take a hit. All right. So this is my takeout container. That's right. It's a bong, and it's a takeout container. This is lo mein, and we're going to take a nice big fat hit on lo mein. Now, to do this. We need to heat this little piece of quartz that is jotting out from the domain. That's our banger. Once our banger is nice and potable, we can take and put our piece of rock inside of there and then methodically smoke and inhale that wonderful vapor that is being released. Because this, this, my friend, 
That's how you imbibe. You take yourself a bath. Blazing on a three stream street with his lurky lurk. Oh, yeah. First dab of the night there, blazing boy. All right, and that has been one minute of heating that banger. So let's get down to business. Cheers. What happened there, man? Yeah, uh, bagoogoot. <coughs> oh, fatty dab, fatty dab, fatty dab. Oh, yeah. Give me a minute to compostulate myself as I compitulize my compostulatory compitch of my nations. In other words, hi there, everyone. <coughs> hmm. A little bit stopped over this morning for a while, and uh, we visited for a while, and then she headed off to work. Uh, it sounds like when she comes down sometime next week, or possibly on Saturday, we're having a cookout, possibly on Saturday, she'll be bringing the desk, which... Then I'll tear down what's here and set it up on the desk instead. Um, and the good thing with that is I can take this table that currently has all the computers and everything on it, and that can go back over. I've got a space I'm already working on clearing uh, because we've got our tumbler maker, and we ordered a second. We're waiting for it to come in. It should be coming in by the end of the week, I believe a second sublimation press thing and when that comes in we're going to be able to sublimate t-shirts and hats and mugs and all different kinds of stuff so we will be um for any people who are in the ugc uh if you guys have any recommendations on merch and stuff or for anybody in doobie daddy's den if you have any recommendations on merch things you guys would like to see um, either our logos or one of our sayings or something from any of our UGC members or anything, any kind of merch, let me know and I'll see what I can do. I can get prices together and we can start making our own merch out of house. So that is something that's pretty exciting. And with having this, I'm going to be able to set that up. So we will have, uh, Curdy and I are going to be working together. I'm going to be working hard and diligently in the next few weeks to come up with a way to um, not just on like Etsy, but some other platforms to start selling some of our things, uh, homemade merchandise and things like that. So you guys can look forward to that. Anything that you might have seen that's up on Redbubble, um, I'll probably be eventually pulling a lot of that stuff down off of Redbubble in the future. Um, but for now, I'll leave it up there and... At the same time, I'll be selling it out of my own personal store. <coughs> when I have all that set up, I'll drop all the links and everything. But um, I looked into that. I've been working on some... I went through my Nerf videos that I've shot so far for my new Nerf channel and started looking that over. I found a really cool picture for the background. I don't know if I've moved it over to this computer yet. That's going to be used sometimes on some of my stuff over there. I, I got some really cool pictures. I thought, anyways, I thought they were pretty cool. I put one up on Facebook for those that are uh, Facebook friends of mine. I put it up on Facebook earlier. I put one of them up on Facebook three years ago. Let me just see it. Then I'll get to it. There's the one. There's the one. Okay, focus. So that is downloaded. There. 
Just a quick second, guys. Once I get this there. Okay, close that. And close you. Okay. here and peek this background wow it's still way up to those day wraps There. My phone playground. <coughs> Basically, I just dumped a whole... I sat yesterday, I think it was. Hylian soldier! Holy Hylian shit! <laughs> Excuse me, princess. How are you, Hylian? Working hard or 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 just being hard when you're at work? Wait, what no. Wait. Maybe. I don't know where you work or, or, or what the ladies look like or or the men if you're interested. Whatever you're into, you know, you, you do you. Anyways, hi, how's it going? And and hi and hi and hi. And hi and hi and hi. You, my friend, my friend. I need to come up here and to get to my friend. And I need to get the vape spin because I don't have that up for its interactiveness thisness. The Dugers. So how goes it, Hylian? It's been about a mo since we have seen you, yo. How does it go? And what is up, you know? Lots of changes here, obviously. Big things going on. Bought a truck, and the ladies at work are overwhelmingly gorgeous. There you go. So it's probably hard at work. Sorry, sorry, not my fault, not my fault. I'm a horny old man. Even when I got me some in the morning. Anyways. Nice, so good for you. You got a truck, you're like all mobile and everything. So, like, Alabama is... No, wait, wait, wait. No, we'll be, yes. No, you're mobile. You can drive. You can you can motivate from one place to another by means of transportation of thine self from where you are to a point that is potentially distant from where you currently are and then convey yourself there. Spend time at said location, and then, on your own volition, in your own time, bring yourself back. <gasps> You've done that? Oh my! That's a main vault! I don't think I've... I think oh my's are in order. Well, that's cool. 
I'm glad to hear you're enjoying your purchase. That's awesome, my friend. How else have things been for you? What wonderful life things have been going on? As you can see, things are are a little bit different here. I'm I'm down in the basement now. I made my that was weird. It froze up. Working now, I had to close and reopen. Ah, oh, very odd. Was I still in phone land, or was it when I was still back in the office? Because phone land just kind of like I changed that a little while ago, and we've been talking with Hylian, so I don't know when you blipped. So, anyways, yeah, we we moved down here now. Been smoking a lot, for better or worse. Same here. Seven grams, seven grams, seven grams. Seven grams. And I finished one already. And all of these are about between three quarters and two thirds of the way full. And dabbables and shit like that. But mostly vape off of stream. Yeah. I'm probably doing around. 50 to 60 grams a month. And I don't want to. I am trying to cut back. But uh, things have been very stressful. I have been I have gone through some very bad depression. And luckily now I'm I'm getting out of that depression. Um because for a very long time after coming back to my parents here, I was streaming and doing everything out of bedroom and for me it was like i was constantly just in the room just in there and i never had a time where i could go away from that to be doing other things other than like doing hard manual labor you know i i don't really like i want my room to be where i go to go to bed and where i go for you know was, what, you were one of them that had it up in the fucking Discord, too. Fucking she! Fucking she! I am so sorry. Um, I did not that this is an excuse, but like I said, I, I have been very depressed and kind of um, hit hard enough for you by a truck. Hey, but dude, now you're you've got a way to get around. And especially like winter time, I know where you are. Winter can hit hard. If you want to be able to get round in winter, you're going to need a big time vehicle. They'll do that shit. Brown chicken, brown cow. Yeah. Brown chickens and brown cows. But it, it, it doesn't matter. Well, it, hold on. Brown chickens do lay brown eggs. Okay, that is one thing. Brown chickens lay brown eggs, but brown cows do not give chocolate milk. Just FYI. I know because let's just say I know, okay? First hand experience, hands on hands on experience. Like brown chickens, brown eggs, yes. Yes, this is true. But brown cows, uh, not chocolate milk. Still, still white milk, and 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 yes, that that's that that is all. We will keep it at that. But yes, brown chicken, brown cows. Um, no, bedroom should be you know bedroom should be for romantic, and for going to bed. I find when I do that, I sleep better. I think I need to get into cigars or something. Nice cigar once in a while. I will not discount. I, I have been there and, and totally done that. Especially in my younger days. Probably around in my 30s. <laughs> it was around when I was sitting around and smoking. So 16 years ago. Fuck. Speaking of chickens, that's one big cock on your shirt. It is. It is. And that's my sister's cock. I mean, that's Curdy's bird. That's what I meant. That's Curdy's bird. At yes, it's at, but I don't know if Hylian, perchance, might have the um, the other thing that the the, the, the 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 nitro or whatever the fuck it is over here now, the turbo, turbo. 
that allows him to watch without ads. And also, not just that, there's people, believe it or not, there's people. They're over on YouTube because I re-upload this stuff to YouTube. So there's people over on YouTube who might be watching this right now wondering, why the fuck in the middle of his shit is he just talking weirdly in the middle of like, like, like because most of them aren't here, but I still like to go on. I'm a loud mouth. So if you're still watching, hey, great. Drop a subscribe because you guys aren't. I don't know why. I don't know why you're not. You've got to. We have a lot of fun here. It's not just these. There's other stuff too. So drop a subscribe. It's all you need to do. But I'm going to take a quick drink before they come back. That's between me and you. Don't, don't tell the rest of them. They don't need to. Hi guys. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Welcome back from commercial. I hope y'all are having a, a, a great evening. I, I, I wasn't talking about you behind your back to the people over, 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 over where we're we're being uploaded <laughs> to a later on the time. <laughs> Son of a Zuber. Chat. <laughs> and how's it going, Birdie Birdie? All right, so yeah, so as I was before saying with the thing and that. And Yo, guys, guys Ozzy, Ozzy here. here. Ah! <laughs> good. <laughs> it's fucking good, man. It's always good to put a couple scoops of nuts in your mouth. They'll fill your fucking hole. They will fill your fucking hole. So yeah, things changed around a little bit in your absence there, Hylian. We we moved down here into... This is not where the office is ultimately going to be, but it's the temporary place to get me out of there because it was really fucking me up. I, I was ready to quit altogether. I was ready to just... I was ready to quit streaming altogether. I was going to quit streaming and YouTube. I was going to give Lauren back all the shit Except for the the laptop, I was still gonna keep like playing video games and stuff. I was just gonna, I was gonna get back bored. I was gonna get back like everything. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm fucking done. Sell it, make the money that you need. I just, I can't right now. And just busting my ass and getting the stuff down here and being able to have that space where it's just when it's the end of the night. I'm down here all day. I'm working. I'm bus I'm doing my shit in here, or I'm overdoing work over there working on getting the room getting the rest of the stuff organized and out of here so the rest of this can be used and so mama and papa oz can have all their stuff organized and put together and have more livable space for having parties and doing arts and crafts and being able to use it just in general because they've had this house for over 30 years and for the past about probably about 24 no, longer 20. Yeah, no. Probably, probably around 24 to 26 years. This basement hasn't been used for anything hardly other than just storage. And it's a finished slab down here. It needs a little TLC. There was a lot of garbage, a lot of stuff that just got accumulated over the years because it just became a repository. And because they lived by the lake and there was a leak, there was a lot of moisture and mildew and stuff down here. And running the dehumidifiers cleaned it up. I've been down here working and busted butt to get it clean. Dad has been putting in hours down here. curdy has been down here doing stuff. Mama Oz has come down when she can. It's hard for her to get up and down the stairs. My cousin Jose, who's going to come over and help us tomorrow, he's come over a couple times and helped us down here getting shit done. We just, like, totally busted ass to get this into a useful space. And now that I'm able to have this, 
I can go back upstairs at the end of the night and go to bed. If Curdy wants in the middle of the day to do some arts and crafts stuff, even if it's something that's going to make a little bit of noise and Mama Oz might be feeling a little bit tired and need a nap, she can do it because she can come down here and close the door and it's not as loud up there. And if Mama Oz goes into her bedroom, it's quieter. Once I get, like, right now it's bare uh, joists, I'm going to put a drop ceiling in and everything eventually. <laughs> right now I've more been working on the floor and I've put in um, anti-fatigue stress mats, you know, the, um, I know that, that foam, the EVA foam, you know, the one they use for like costuming and stuff, which I was like, I started realizing because I was watching somebody today make something and they're like, okay, first thing you need some EVA foam. And I'm like, shit, because they were talking about making a, alien egg and i was like oh that'd be so cool and they're like diy how to do it from home i'd be like oh that'd be so fucking cool for like for halloween obviously i probably wouldn't be able to get enough stuff together this year but if i can i'm going to be decorating for halloween here i gotta see where all of my shit is in storage and as i get things back i'm hoping to get everything back before the end of actually before the end of september i'm hoping to get most of the stuff back so Mama Oz could not have to pay for the next month over at the storage facility. But once I get section over here past where I am cleaned, that's going to be the actual office. It's a 10 by 12 space that Curdy and I will have. We'll have a couple of desks set up for podcasting and stuff. Then over here on this side, there's going to be a wall divided here. And then over here on this side, it's going to be set up for, like, I've got the couch over here right now. You can't see it because I threw a green screen over it, but I've got the couch over there. So I could nom nom yummy pizza. What flavor pizza? What flavor pizza? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Tell me what's in the box. What's in the pizza box? Cheese well done. Well, thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Was fun anyways so yeah i saw that you can use it's literally these things that they're using they're just buying screaming sicilian fucking a that's a good shit stuff screws you can just get these packages of these and you can use them for like costuming and shit like that you just need some heat things and molds and stuff and i was like holy shit that's more shit that we can do for ourselves like for making things for easter and shit like that sorry itchies tonight very cool stuff crust is yummy good i like this stuff crust. now do you dip your crust in a dipping sauce afterward like a marinara or more of a garlic or a ranch or props yes obviously props are big on my mind because and you guys know i've talked about it before using the studio and the space to be able to make more like written and scripted materials and i'm going to work with papa oz on camera work and work with curdy with camera work and work with them with you know how to boom and, and how and maybe get some better mics and stuff and we'll hopefully move into when we do get everything set because i obviously we have these green screens and i'm going to have the majority of the office is going to be green screen so we can do anything we want because i'm going to want to do tier lists and have interesting backgrounds based on what we're doing yep and then over here, it's going to be more of a lounge area, but I will have a green screen to come down for when we want to do, because I'm going to set up a gaming area as well with the TV and everything so we can stream doing gaming content over here. <coughs> so then over in the area past where you guys are is where we're going to set up the arts and crafts area 
with, again, a streaming setup. Probably Curdy's streaming setup will be set up over there so that we can do, like, the props. We can even show the making of merch as we're making it because, like I said, for those that are interested um, and those that are in either the Doobie Daddy's Den or the UGC, if you guys are watching, if you guys have any ideas on merch you would like to see, or if you guys have any uh, input on like designs of stuff either from the show or from Curdy or from anything like that that you guys would like to see from our Red Bubble catalog, wherever you've seen any of our stuff or whatever like kind of interesting things you guys might be interested to see and purchase for merch let me know because we're going to be moving into making our, our own and i would love some input from the community um, not just on what you would want to buy but you what you would think other people might want to buy and we're going to be putting together as soon as i can work with curdy um, we're going to put together some things and get our own things you need a cock warmer extra large well i don't know what you're going to do with the rest of it but i mean it's not going to keep you very warm when you're like inside of a tunnel just it's not how it works dude can koozie size nah like like, this is the size of a can. I mean, like, we're, we're not even talking, we're, we're not even talking clipper lighter size. I mean, still, like, 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 prop, dab tool? You got one dab tool size? Not dab tool size. Sorry, Tech. Didn't mean to call you out. Sorry. 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 Anyways, 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 I'm I'm drinking soda. So, yeah, there'll be content, places to make content, and then when it's time to go upstairs, upstairs will be upstairs. Upstairs will not be content. Upstairs will be going upstairs to go to bed. Sorry. Hey, some girls like to get a little prick. Just got to watch out, because if you get one of them ones, like, from the store, you know, the one, the one that get... <sniffs> those ones, they don't like a little prick, because even just the tiniest of pricks, just send them flying. They're just off on a tangent. Like, gone! Out from under you. Just, whoo! And don't fill them with helium. And then bring them out for a walk. People look at you weird. Don't. I said don't. Do, don't do that. People. This is sarcasm. Okay. I'm going to put this out there. When I talk like this. When I'm sitting here and saying this shit. When I come up with these crazy stupid things. Even though they said. It's not real. And I know anyone who's, like, watching this who has a fully formed uh, frontal cortex will, will understand. But don't fucking do that shit, man! Don't get your ass arrested for stupid shit like that. Your ass arrested for smart shit. Like protesting the government. <clears throat> Not stupid shit. Pranks? Nah. Don't, do, don't, don't, don't get arrested for stupid prank shit without a leash. Yeah, but then she might run away. But they do say, if you truly love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it was always meant to be. So, and they also say what goes up must come down. But I would also say that sometimes what goes down sometimes also has to come back up. Be, be because, because, because. 
as wonderful of a thing it is. I, 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 anyways, back to the topic at hand, getting the shit done. It will be nice to have that division where we've got a place to make content and do, like, work stuff. Because, of course, there'll be, like, laundry to do and DIY projects for the house and stuff like that. They can be done down here, too. And this can be, like, the area where work needs to be done. <coughs> Pardon. And then upstairs can be the place for, like, family time and going to bed. And then, like, just not dealing with all the business stuff. You know, because when it starts invading all of that, when you don't have that division, when everything is all in the same space, it just eats at you. It eats at you and it causes depression. It, it eats your mental health away. And nobody needs that. And one way to stave that off is giving yourself enough space. And like I said, I again, I was lucky enough that when I came here to their house, this was here. Winners we do how yeah, swallow up. But this space was here just underutilized, and I knew that Mama Oz was of the mind to get this shit in here and get this space utilized and get things cleaned down here as well as up there. So luckily I have now that I'm in better shape than I was when I was here last, I can put the effort in. I've got people that I know that are willing to come and help as well. So I can get more shit done on our own and for cheaper than I could before. Some things are expensive, like obviously getting that shower and stuff, but that was a major project I never could have taken on my own. Dab, just a little dab. This man dared to use two dabs. Now he's in trouble. We refuse to be responsible. Dab, just a little dab. A little dab do ya. A little dab do me. A little dab do me. Beep beep. Beep beep. A little dab do me. A little dab do me. Oh, come on, you dabbing son of a boober. Don't want to break you too, too much. You know, to, to make a mess in there. But at the same tickle, you don't want to make a mess under... Don't worry about it. Out everywhere. Because, see, if you if you hit it too hard with, with the thing, the thing, you dare me not to cough. Okay. But it's a dare then. And to cough or not to cough, that is the question. And the answer is, I hope, defect not. And, the, and why are you falling off of the spoon pipe, pork pooper? Spoon per pooper, the people. The scumby wumby doobers. Skickles. Skikers and bookies. Mickety dickety poopers. Now get on the spoon. Get on, I know, do. Uh, ah. I need two hands for this because it's just being a jerk. Just like fuck you, dude. Fuck you, man. I don't. I don't want to be on there because I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna smoke me, and, and then and then and then you're gonna and then you're gonna, and you're gonna smoke and you're gonna me and you're gonna, you're gonna smoke me. Yeah. And I'm like, no, dude, no. It's just, it's just, it's just. We cool. We cool. Until we hop. And then we hop. And she ha, you like it a lot. So I'll be like, I'm gonna hit me a tab of the lamb. I'm gonna see a devil in the Sorry, were you guys still here? I'm trying to heat up my banger. Again. Because Tick said, take a bath. 
and would batch into commercials. And there's like 89% of you guys on YouTube who are watching my shit but are not subscribed. And I don't understand that number. It does not make sense to me. So I think since I'm going to be taking a big fat dab here, that you guys should drop me a subscribe. It's trying. It is trying. It is trying. It is trying. I'm not gonna let it. I'm not. I'm not gonna let it. It's trying, though. It's trying. My goodness. Oh, my gracious. And oh, my God. We got a subscriber? <coughs> Damn it. I was almost there. Because I was about to take... Where did I put the blinker for that when I tinker? <laughs> I'm a stinker. I put a blinker for that when I think of doobers. Let me check the poopers. Uh, each sub, oh, each sub is a derb. So I gotta do another derb. Erpichokies, well, well, Hylian. You have initiated a devilishness -ness, ness ness So, you have a choice. You can either tell me what to dab, or we can go to the beautiful Wheel of Dabs. You let me know. Would you like me to dab with one of the... Would you like me to tell you every fucking one of them that's on the wheel? Or would you like me to just spin that motherfucker and whatever it lands on? Whatever one it lands on, we're going to smoke. Your choice within the next, let's see, we are, we are 53 minutes. So in the next minute, if I don't hear from you in a minute, I'm just going to do a random. <laughs> Spin the wind! Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> are there cameras here? Am I being punk? Is this shit rigged? Tick! Tick, is this your doing? Are you here? Tick! How the fuck do you do that? I done, I, I done, I done two dabs tonight. Both of them, lemon kush, because Tick said lemon kush. I spin it! I spin the wheel! I spin it with a mighty spin! Lemon kush. Lemon Kush! What does one know? Mm -mm -mm. Seems as though I am destined upon this eve <sighs> to have my senses assaulted and assailed by this wonderful lemonaceous odorification. Mm -mm -mm. And my lungs, too, shall be assailed by this wonderful odiferous emonation, which is oh, so lemonade. It's like motherfucking lemon pledge, fuckers. Now get on my spoon, man. Why are you not one? Like, are they afraid of me? Are all these little, are they like little crystal people? Are they like what are they like little like are they like is the vegan teacher right? Is everything alive and we need to be honoring it? Fuck that shit, man. Meat's fucking good. 
I don't care if it's got feelings, I'm still going to eat it. I will pet it, I will name it, and then when it goes off to the slaughterhouse, I will say bye-bye. And then when dinner time comes, I will say hello! Because I'm a fucking carnivore. That's how I roll. I used to go and pull the eggs out from under chickens' asses that I knew the name of because I had raised them. Well, not really raised them, but I had been present with them and, and played with them when they were little baby chicks when my grandma was raising them. And then I had gone over and pulled the eggs out from under their asses during the summertime to help my uncle out quite oft. So I, I, I do believe that I got to know some of those chickens. Sometimes more intimately than I would have liked. Again, reaching off up under their asses to grab their little chickeny yum yum eggies. And then, sometimes, my grandpa and uncles would be sent out to get a chicken. For one of our dinners or you know maybe when when we were having a party or something like that and we needed extra food and shit and sometimes i would tag along and watch and hang out while they beheaded said chicken and then we would eat it not right then and there not raw. <laughs> you guys are weird, man. No, no. See, we would we would then go back to Grandma's house, okay? Grandma and Grandpa's house. And then, see, <coughs> then I was enlisted sometimes, while still being younger, to go over to the set tub and, and help pluck said chicken. And then, as I've said before, typically since there wasn't usually for certain parts of it there wasn't times where there was other kids around so i would be out in the kitchen hanging and thinking well said chicken was being cooked and i need it i'll tell you something right now sometimes camilla was fucking good she was fucking tasty chicken hell fucking yeah Chicken is good shit. Animals, they're fucking good, man. Protein is good for you. Animals eating animals? Fuck, man. Animals eat other animals? Why the fuck can't we eat animals? We the top of the fucking food chain. Pretty much. I mean, we're the most technologically advanced species on the planet currently. We'll just go that far. Top of the food chain, I'm not sure we are. Most dominant species on the planet. Yeah, still don't know where like we're totally there. And, and, and species, like largest species on the planet. No on multiple accounts on that occasion. So, yeah, no, 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 no. We ain't the big bads that we think we are. You know, scale yourselves, guys. We're the most technologically advanced. We are the current inheritors of the earth and the current ones who are <coughs> pardon, pretty much showing dominance over it but honestly anything could happen the earth knows no the dominant earth she would dominate your ass that's what i like about her big mama earth Alright, hold on, I need to quickly send something, otherwise one of my streaks will end. That's right, big mama bird. Big dumb. That's a dummy mommy right there, man. Dummy mommy earth. 
to put you in your place. Just like, like, Mama Oz was wanting some shit done here. Right? And one of the things, we're getting a new fridge this week. And she wants the water and the ice in the door. And I said, fine. I said, but I won't fuck with that. I don't fuck with water. I will fix leaks if it's something I've done before and I know I can, I can look at it. I can be like, okay, this is simple. I can fix that. I ain't running new shit. Especially there is a lot of wiring down here. And a lot of this wiring is old that I would like to do over. Um, but I'm going to have Lauren take a look at it. She knows way more about wiring than I do. But I think some of it's a little janky. And I want to redo some of it. <clears throat> Her and I can do most of it, and then we know we have an electrician friend who's a licensed electrician. We'll just come in and sign off on everything if you need it. But it's not really anything other than upgrading what's already here, and it's stuff that you can do yourself anyways. It's all, like, basically home electrical work. So it doesn't need permits or anything, so we, we should be good. <laughs> and I'm just going to run off of most of the existing anyways. Just upgrade where it needs to be. I think just some of these are old. I think some of it is just going to the light fixtures, which I plan on putting in new light fixtures anyways. These ones are not, they're not code. They're old as fuck. So I'm going to like get this place down. I'm going to have it be smart. I'm going to have the uh, multicolored light and have it sunk with for in here. I'm going to have a setup where the lighting right now, you guys should be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it over there under the collectible shelf. I have a rope light that I ran along the most of the wall down there. It goes under the collectible shelf and then under the Nerf shelf. And then it also goes under my couch, which is here under this pile. It's a huge ass pile of uh, nerf darts oh that sucks sorry hylian that fucking sucks that is like this it's like that fucking game is rigged or something oh it says it rigged it says it they knew it they're fucking rigged they knew it but i did that so i don't fucking like wang my shins and shit and tear back my toenails because i like to walk around over here without shoes or anything on and right now, because literally just a month ago, this was almost inaccessible. We have, we have done so much to bust ass to get this to be usable space that the floor is still needing a, a big cleaning. Uh, but what I'm doing right now instead of that is I am just laying on top of it. I mean, it, it's, it's clean. You know, it's swept. It's just, it's still powdery. But I'm just getting these floor tiles, the EVA floor tiles, and laying them right on top. I'm going to go straight down, ending at the wall. And then when I get to the wall, there's an area at the bottom of the stairs that I'm going to do all together. And then that's going to be the... Uh, that's going to have a nice rug at the bottom of it, something thick, because Curdy's a little gun shy, even still coming down here sometimes, because a long time ago she fell down those stairs, and she got pretty hurt, so it's, it was very traumatic for her, so <clears throat> we have to do some work. I have to fix the stairs a little bit, fix the railing, and I have to uh, get the, the runners. I don't know if I'm going to just get ones that, you know, have that stick to them and then put them down so that they've, they're kind of the sticky stickies. <coughs> Pardon. And fix that fix the stairs that way so there's also like little pieces of carpet or if i'm going to try 
and this is a pain in the ass, but I'm willing to do it, to do like a runner that cascades down so that it goes all the way back. It doesn't have to be the full length of the stairs as long as it's bound. It can be the majority of it, and then you just have areas that are going to still get dusty. It would be better if it could be fully wall to wall and then bound at the wall. It's possible to do size. But then run it right down and then end it right there and have at least a similar pile and everything rug right here at the bottom. You got a 60 meg ed and you just remembered. Well, it's been about an hour, so you remembered for every milligram. Just now, it just hit you. Anime protagonist style. You just got fucking sensu bean, fucker. Sensu Straight up. Or, 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 or did you find a fairy? Did you find a fairy? Did you find a fairy? Did you get that little heart boost? <laughs> burb. Fairy's gonna burb. I'll be herb. While you burb. And then later, I will burb. Probably doing it during a commerb. I will verb. And to verb, I won't be herb. I'll be a verb. I talk too much sometimes. But it's fun. I don't know why. Apparently, there's a growing consensus. And I was vaccin vaccinated when I was young. With a phonograph. For those that know what that is, please make sure you take some Tylenol before going to bed. Because you're going to be hurt. Why? Like when I was a kid, I had one of them Fisher Price little record players that played the little fucking plastic records, but also, also, it could play real vinyl records. If they were small enough, and you had the adapter. And I still kept my adapter when I was young, so I could play real fucking records. And my parents had records everywhere. So, I would go in, and here's the cool thing. Okay. I just... Holy shit. Pretty unlocked memory. All right. Wow. That's amazing. So when I was a kid, all right, you guys know, uh, currently, I watch the majority of YouTube at double speed, right? Like, actually, I watch all of YouTube at double speed. Very seldom do I go slower than double speed when I watch YouTube. If I do, it's like it's an occasion. It's to break something down, and then sometimes I go so far as to go all the way down to a quarter speed and still run that shit. So I, 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 so when I was a kid, I had that record player, and now these record players back then, you could choose what speed to play your records at. And depending on the size of the record you had, if you played it at a certain speed, it would pretty much double the speed of the song. I used to do that a lot. So I was doing this shit when I was little. I was listening to music at double speed because, like, I thought it was my holy shit. All right. I will return.
Oh, and one more thing. There. Oh. Yes, it's the infamous chair. It is back. The infamous chair is back. This does definitely need an upgrade because it still does its thing. And when I sit down, if if I'm here for a while, after a while, I'm like, uh, sorry, sorry. So yeah, holy crap. I used to do that all the time. It's no wonder that, no wonder I can, I, I do it now with YouTube. Because obviously back then, YouTube wasn't up there. And even on VHS, you didn't really have the option to watch at, like, double speed. And I could do that with movies and stuff, but I guess I've just always seen movies at normal speed and everything, and so it never really occurred to me to do that. I do tend to, if I can, listen to my podcasts at double speed. Or at least one and a half times if possible. I like to consume my information fast and move on to other things. I have a lot to do. I always feel like I have a lot to do. Maybe that's something I do to myself, but I always have that. I always feel like I have a lot to do. And sometimes it can be detrimental. But it also, nowadays, keeps me on task. Like today, I was watching, I was just, I had some stuff playing in the background that I had seen a million and a half times. Like, I think it was Eureka, episode one. I was like, I've seen this probably, I don't know, six, eight times. So I'm like, okay, that can play in the background while I'm over here and I was working on something on one computer. And I, or, oh, I was doing some, like, background mining of uh, battle stars over on Fortnite over there. And while I was doing that, not actually actively playing, and not playing, like, any battle royale or anything like that, just doing, like, creator islands, like, tycoon and stuff like that, just earning up some shit. Um... I was working on some stuff on this computer, so at one point, I think Papa Oz actually came down and saw me, and I had, like, I had on one hand, I had one hand here, I had something playing on the computer, I had one hand on this table, which is where the TV is, and I was turned this way, because I've got the monitor for the big computer here. And then the laptop is there, so the laptop is going. I had this on, which is one of my mice, and I had that going and controlling it with one hand. And then on this hand, I've got over here on my other mouse, working on that computer while that's going. And I think he just stood there for a few and went. And then just left. Because I seriously had everything flowing all at the same time. I was just in that kind of, I don't know, I was just, I was vibing right there. And I hadn't even, I don't even know if I really even smoked at that point. Not much. I hadn't smoked much. I just, I got down here, I got everything set up first off in the morning. After I sent Warren off to work. She came over and we spent a few minutes together and then she headed off to go to work and I came down here to go to work. And I just, I sat over on the couch for just like I think three or four YouTube videos. And then I was like, okay. Popped up and I'm like, all right. And I started in working here and working there and this going on. And I just like, I honestly don't even know what happened most of the day. I remember going upstairs a couple times, but I was just in such a kind of vibe that I fixed a few things on the channel that was kind of like background stuff. Like, there was a few uh, 
links that were dead ending because I added the uh, underscore UGC um, for the United Gaming Collective. And when I did that, it kind of booted a few of my links. So I had to go through and update them and then go and update my panels that then link out to those. So I was kind of kicking around doing a few things here and there over Twitch land on one computer, Fortniteing on the other computer, and then I think I was at that point, at one point I was watching something on, I know I had a, a few videos going for just like top 10 to 15 horror movies coming up in 2025. So I had that kind of playing. There's some interesting ones coming out, including a new Nearwolf, um, which I, I always like the Nearwolf ones. And when it's like the universal kind, when it's like paying homage to like that classic werewolf or the, you know, werewolf in London kind of thing where you're really getting good movie. <laughs> And especially a good werewolf transformation transformation. Sorry. That really like sparked. I really want to see that kind of movie. So I'm hoping that with what they do with the digital effects and everything, that they try to keep some practical. Cause I find that a lot of horror movies, whether it turns out campy or not. And how the movie then moves into how it looks based on that can be advantageous to it. But a lot of times CGI, you just can't help. You have to almost be camping. Because if you don't have top-notch CGI, if you don't have something that at this point can't be picked apart in 4K shown at quarter speed with people being able to zoom up to like 8k resolution in 60 frame per second and just be able to bring down to the most minute pixel to pick apart your shit it's gonna fall apart because as much as i love horror it's fucking toxic fandom it will tear down a horror movie and I love awful movies. I love awful horror movies, especially. And from what I understand, it looks like The Crow. The Crow might be the new king of just schlocky, bad, good horror movies. And obviously, we're talking bad good. So while it is inspired by Brandon Lee's like ultimately the, the movie that he passed while doing unfortunately through major accident on set um, and in fact the actor who was handling the gun in that faithfully just ended up quitting acting because of it really had a hard life due to it so just shows to go you. It is so easy for accidents to happen. And accidents that are so huge that it can just devastate. So you have to be supremely careful with each and every action, be thoughtful, and make sure that safety precautions are in place. That's why I hate these, like, ones that I was talking about earlier, with trying videos and stuff. Just, it's too easy for things to go bad. Anyways, I know, I mean it. And then when I get off topic, I lose it. So, whatever. That's what happens when you're both tired. Yeah. But I got a lot done. I feel like I accomplished a lot. 
I soaked in a lot of information, including some on um, um, more things to do with uh, the YouTube stuff. And not necessarily for the Doody Daddy portion of the YouTube, because that's still the... It's going to be like here. Like, that's going to be the fun channel to work with. But I'm kind of using it also as like a testing ground. Some of the stuff, that's why you've seen me hold the phone up a couple times. Because I'm showing off how many people on YouTube are subscribed and watching. Oh my god, he dropped the curtain and there, the fourth wall would be broken! I know. Back to movie analogies, which will eventually lead back to the horror thing and bring him back on topic, right? Yes, as you know my brain. Obviously, you're still fucking here. So, anyways. I do look forward to seeing it. I haven't seen it yet. But, from everything that I have heard, I've tried to avoid spoilers as much as possible, but Charlie was just like, I also, I know the whole movie, and I'm like, at the same time, I'm like, I don't really know if I can go and see this. I don't know if I can go out there, because literally, I went and saw that. I was here as a kid. I went and saw that. Well, not as a kid. I mean, I, I was a kid. I was a teenager. I went with, like, I was excited to go and see The Crow. I had, you know, I had started watching Bruce Lee movies as a kid. A young kid with my dad. He watched them all the time. And I was like, that's cool as shit. Like, I thought it was weird that their mouths moved different. I didn't understand dubbing at that point. Very, very young. This is like, I'm talking pre-Dragon Ball even coming over to the States for us to see. So I'm like, this is my introduction to anything related to Japanese, Chinese, or any kind of Eastern culture where they would need to change and, and translate what the person was saying. I was very just used to... And even, actually, I, I shouldn't even say that because I believe some of the Inspector Cousteau movies, the Pink Panther movies, were translated. I don't know. I have to look into that. But anyways, I remember that growing up, and it's like, that's... I watched his father, and then when I saw him go into acting, I was like, you know, his father was really cool. I want to see what he can do. So he did... Uh, he did a movie with Dolph Lundgren, and then I knew this was coming out, and then I heard about the accident, and I knew the story of The Crow, because I had been working at the comic book store at the time, so I was kind of immersed in comic culture quite a bit. And even though that was kind of an indie comic, we were known, even though we were, we're in a small town, I, at that point, was in charge of ordering and all of that stuff for the store. So, even though I focused on, like, the main stage, you know, the DC main ones, like, around that time we had Death of Superman was going on. There was uh, Batman getting his back broken by Bane, so the Nightfall storyline went on. I was myself a huge marvel fan so we had a lot of the marvel stuff as well as like for me i love the x-men that was like my main focus and then a little bit on the side i followed spider-man and then some tertiaries but then indie comics i made sure we kept a mix of indie comics because there would always be people coming in and looking for them obscure ones so i'd get like one or two copies of those more indie ones to throw them and really fill out the store, make it look nice full. You know, it really made sense to have that for the space. And people loved it. You know, they came in and, and they spent a lot of time and, and money there. And I 
was there immersed in that culture and the throw was like right there on the shelves and you know during that time we're talking the 90s so a lot of black going a lot of like a lot of people were going like the goth and and he was this goth superhero and you know the trench coat and the black on black and the white face and the like hey i did it i did it two three three I don't know, a few times. I did it a few times for Halloween. And when the movie came out, seriously, we were like, there was a bunch of us, and we were right there. We wanted to see, we couldn't wait. We ran out, and we saw that. And when this one was coming out, I was like, you know, I don't know if I can really go and see it, because I know CGI is going to be really good with all that kind of stuff, as long as they're pushing the boundaries. They're getting Bill Skarsgård. I like him. You know, he did a good job as Pennywise. I've got no problems with him as an actor. I believe he can bring that right amount of creep, as well as that, you know, that amount of intimidation and everything that you need as the pro. I I believe he's got that mix. He should be able to pull it off. I just don't know, you know, like, but I don't see it. And I'm like, you know, I, I just, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to avoid spoilers. I'm just going to see how I'm feeling about it when it actually comes out, when I see the trailers. And however I feel about the trailer, then I'm going to decide how I really, if I really want to go and see it, or if I'm just okay with just watching it after I hear about it. Just waiting for it to come out for free on a platform that I already have. Just not being in a rush to get my hands on it or anything. I wasn't sure, would it be a total Morbius? And, or a total Madam Web. And I was really afraid that it could be. And if it was, I'm like, can I do that to something? Like, this is the pro. This is a movie that, like, I know my heart. I just put it in and it starts playing and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm, I'm like, I'm talking the whole movie. I know every line, every inch of it. Thank you, dear. I know. You ain't telling me nothing I don't already know. I know we're in ads. Know how I know we're in ads? Because ads are where we are in. And if we're in ads, that means look at this. Look at that watch time for subscribers. Just for subscribers. That's awful, man. Those numbers are just atrocious. You guys should be subscribing. If you're not subscribing, there's something wrong. There's something really, really wrong. Much subscribing needs to be done. Oof, the gun. Ah, so I didn't know if I could go to see it or if I should wait. Then I saw the trailers and I was like, oh, wait, pardon me. And then I'm like, do I want spoilers? And I'm sitting there thinking, okay, can it be that much different than the original? Can they have changed it that much? I mean, I know there was like the sequels and could they have really gone back to the Eric Draven, the OG, and really changed it that much? 
Maybe they did. And Charlie, like, because I, I did not, I, I clicked on it not knowing. And Charlie, being Charlie, started off saying, pick up donut. Pick up watch, watch. The worst bad movie in others. It's like the worst really bad really good movie the other side. Seriously, I'm telling you guys. Remember, I tell you how much I like to How much I like to watch it for that Like, seriously, I'm like, okay, what's he talking about? He's got me hooked because he's so monotone and everything. He's like, he's always talking about bad movies and his taste in bad movies is my taste. Like, he hates Morbius. I'm like, okay, I hate Morbius. He hated Madam Web. Okay, I hate Madam Web. Movies that are like dog shit that I love. He, he's, I've seen the voice meter and he's on the same page. I'm like, okay, he's got good taste in movies when it comes to horror and shit like that. Good B-movie horror, like just bullshit movies. You know? The stuff that you would see Elvira out there, like, being like, you see this shit? That kind of stuff? I love that. And apparently that's this. Apparently that's that's this kind of, this. Oh my fuck, that's, oh shit. That's fuck, yeah, that's awesome. I think that's fucking awesome. Now, does that mean I want to go see it from the theaters? Fuck no! Fuck no! If you guys think that, you, 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 you got your, wow, wow. Wow, your ass is way up your head. No. Will I see it soon? Maybe. Anyways. Other than that, on other news, you guys know, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is also coming out soon. Now that movie, oh, oh, oh. That movie I fucking love. Oh my fuck do I love that movie. That is an awesome movie. I I just love Beetlejuice. And like, I know everybody's like, yeah, Michael Keaton's only in it for 17 minutes, you know? It's like, yeah, he is. Beetlejuice himself is only in it for 17 minutes. But Beetlejuice isn't the only thing I love about that movie. The way it's shot, the feel that you get for it, that surreal reality, it's very surreal looking, but it feels very real at the same time. And it just, it, it's so awesome. That is Tim Burton at the most Tim Burton that Tim Burton ever Tim Burton. And I fucking love that, of that movie. The designs and the makeup that was done by V. Neal and her team just... There's a reason they want a fucking Oscar for that. It is a beautiful movie. Watch it again. If you haven't watched it lately, watch it again. Because the sequel's coming out. And it was shot up in Vermont at the same location that the original was shot. And I cannot wait to go and see that movie in the theater. And not just because I already have it planned and I've got a date, Lauren and I are going to go. We've already got that planned out once it comes out. I think the 11th is our plan. I have to wait because tickets aren't available for that date yet. I have to wait till they're actually available. But we're going to go out and see the movie, I think, that night. i got to see if it's a Tuesday. Because I want to do it on Tuesday so we can figure it out. Empty waves. We will do see that movie. But also, Mama Oz loved Beetlejuice. Papa Oz loved Beetlejuice. And Curdy's favorite line from Beetlejuice is actually on my own soundboard. So you guys can actually play it. <coughs> Pardon me. And it's the nicest damn line you've ever done seen. That was a curdy quote in that line. Oh, yeah. That was great. Took after her big brother. 
Although I didn't have a movie to quote it from. I, j I had my aunt. I quoted directly from the source of the word. Like, all right, y'all think, y'all think the F word coming into, like, coming into mainstream use was like some epiphany. No. My aunt was a progenitor of that, for sure. She used that word like the word dog. She still, to this day, uses it. Well, not as much. I kind of do. She fucking used that word like, like every fucking hour of their fucking word. It was fucking right the fuck there. Some fucking sentences, you didn't fucking know if she was fucking talking or just fucking swearing. That's fucking all it was. If it was on T fucking B fucking now fucking days, she'd fucking be fucking centered fucking all fucking over fucking the place fuck. And me, there's a new one. Apparently, this is one I don't fully remember. But Mama Oz has made sure I, I know I did. We were in the car with the next door neighbor going to hospital or the dentist or something and i uttered forth the word the word this word the word we are not fucking allowed to say you know the fucking one fuck that's the one yes shit fuck shit fuck shit yes fuck and mama ox being a new mama and not yet versed in in the ways of mamahood Doth turned back to Itty Bitty Oz and said, Say what? And Itty Bitty Oz being the, the dutiful son that he was, said, Mama Oz, said I, the word of fuck. And said she, Oh, why I not? Because pretty much other than a few utterances, she has not. And those, those came usually because of accidents. Very, very seldom has she said the word in earnest. A few times she said it as Freudian slips. Like, there used to be around the, not immediate area here, but out in Boston, a burger joint. I believe it's gone under now, but called Fun Rockers. And she never got it right. She never got it right. So to get Mama Oz to say it, we were taught by by our one of our uncles who is who is passed. Uh, we were taught to go up to her and and ask her about the burger joint in in, in, in Boston. While we were there, he was like, "Go ask your mom to go to the burger joint." They're like, "Yeah, mom, what, what, what burger joint?" And she'd be like, oh, Rod Puckers! Assholes. For a week, we tormented my moms with that. And still, occasionally, we, we, we do. Because then, many years later, after, after the joke had died, because obviously, now, now there's a thing, there's running gags, right? You, you have to learn comedy comedy is about comedy has comedy 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 has rules okay there's rules to comedy comedy is about certain things uh there's there's the rule of threes in which you need to have three things to make something funny so so like you can have a rock and you can have papers so there's also the rule about timing Timing is absolutely scissors. Scissors. You need scissors. Scissors. Essential to a joke. If you have bad timing, then comedy just does it goes out of nowhere. False flat. So those those things are essential. And you need to know in a thing like a running gag when it stops being funny. Okay? Because there's a thing. Eventually it just it ends. The gag ends. You've gone too far. Everybody stops laughing. So you stop doing it. Or the target, or sometimes the the unintended target, the person who is maybe your your straight man in the gag, 
decides they, they don't like playing in the gag anymore. So you don't want to, you know, you want it to be something that's semi-consensual. After a while, they will say, hey, stop. And then you're like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go and do it. But here's the thing. There's a thing sometimes where a gag will go so long. Or maybe there's a gag that has been there and set in the corner. Forgot, left, in a box, under the stairs, gathering dust. Then one day, bright and serendipitous as it is, maybe in spring, when one goes to clean, you know, as one does in spring, a, a spring cleaning, as it were, you go forth, you find said box, you pull it forth, take it out, look at it, blow it off. Oh my! I totally forgot about you. Hmm. I should put you somewhere aside for use for another day. <laughs> so then, you realize, because Mama Oz, growing up, used to like to, when she could, some of the scratch tickets and a few of those other things. And then when it became popular, to play the slingo and things, anything that ding, 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 ding. Hmm. Mama Oz likes to gamble. Okay. Well, that was information that had been locked in stores for a long time. Well, then one day, there I am. Out. She who shall not be named at a place, and I see. Oh my. I know that burger place. I have not seen it in years. And the joke that had been setting all of a sudden. Oh my. And shortly thereafter, I decided it would be fun to bring Mama Oz to the casino. Like Mama Oz. You'll never believe it. And she was like, what? What is it, oh son of mine? And I'm like, do you remember? All that time ago, when Skirty and I, once we were we, we chitlins, we, when we was just little, bit, little, 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 little. She's like, mm, yes, I do. I am um, Mama Oz, so therefore I do. Okay. You remember when we took a trip out to the east? Not that far east. Just not that far east. But east, none the least. We went east. To Boston. Or very near. Yes, yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. Yes, because we visited your uncle. I do, I do, I do. Your uncle, my brother. We visited him. I do, I do remember, I do. And I said, thank you, Mama. Do you remember? Also in as well. The little burger joint we went to, and in the name of that, because it escaped my mind. And there we were. Walking down the aisle towards said burger joint in the middle of Foxwoods, which that particular area and at that particular time, this was very much pre-COVID. So it was a very main thoroughfare with a lot of people bustling through. And Mama Oz spoketh the name and then became very red in the face and slapped the Oz. Oh, did I take a whoop in that day. But it was funny. It was funny indeed. There had to be a good... Like, in our immediate vicinity, because obviously you have to speak a little bit louder when you're there. Mama Oz is not one known to speak very loud, typically. So there we were, walking down this, like, main thoroughfare. And she knows she's got to speak a little louder than normal to be heard over the hustle bustle. So there we are going through said hustle bustle. 
and I say to her loud enough so I make sure she knows she needs to speak louder the question and then she answers back and there had to be like a good 20 people right immediately they were close enough to hear her and they could see the beam when she turned red there literally had to be like 90 percent of foxwood saw that because her face it went as red as that right there as red as the lemon push one or as red as the crypto chronic one it went as red as either the alien grass or the blue cookies it went as red as one of those red nerf darts up there around there all over around holy shit she was like oh like like if santa had been out patrolling right there and it had been foggy he would have told Rudolph, fuck you, I'm going and getting her. She won't just light my way, she'll light everybody's way. Holy fucking red, man. So, a little bit embarrassed, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to convey to you. I guess the gist is that, that, that she didn't like that joke being played on her there. The beating that I took out from now, and now years later, this is a funny story. To me, I had to explain to her. So, those kind of pranks, those are a little bit. Nowadays, you got the kids, you but that's a Freudian slip. It's easy. It's easy to switch the two letters around on some words. It happens all the time for some people. Ah, C's, ah, C's, ah, C's. Quickly check while we're in commercials here. But you guys don't get to see this. You have seen, it's 89% of you are subscribed. And I'm just like, I don't even know. I, I just don't even. I don't even know. And we're almost back to ads. Pardon me. And we are back now. I know that time I kind of just sat there for a minute. Because sometimes I'll do that. Because it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I move in mysterious ways. Anyways. I move anyways. I move anyways. So, where are we anyways? We're at 9 p.m. There'll be turkeys. I think we might end at 9. Or maybe a little bit after. We'll go for the full two hours tonight. And then what I'm planning is another little... It's not going to be a major revamp to schedule. It was still going to stay somewhat the same. Uh, but I'm going to try to revamp the schedule 
a little bit to give me some more flexibility uh, and, and to figure so we can start maybe either playing some gaming or I really want to start using green screens and doing some tier lists, but I need to start making some. So I'm going to sit down and I think Curdy and I need to have a brainstorming session either tonight after stream or tomorrow and just sit down and brainstorm out some ideas for how to get her channel set up down here so we can start doing her stuff because there's lighting and everything over there. We have power. That's not, none of that's an issue. So we can start that. Pardon. And everything over here is set over here. The stream here. I just need to put together some more. Like, I want to do some more fun stuff. And I want to do some tier lists, but I want to make them myself. I don't want to just go with the tier lists that are already available. I want to go through and do some tier lists and some fun shit. So that also goes out to any of you guys watching here on Twitch currently. Or if anybody's watching this over on YouTube in the future, if you guys have any thoughts or ideas on stuff we could talk about or tier lists that we can do, tier lists you guys would be interested in, drop me a comment either in my Discord, on one of my Facebook channels, on any of my socials. It just popped up just a few moments back. With my Linktree link, you can click there, or I know my Discord will be popped in, or somebody can do a command Discord if you guys want to join up on the Discord. You guys can join up over there if you're currently in our chat and not active. But if you guys want and you guys are willing to check out some more of our fun shit, we're going to be having other channels opening up soon. Curdy's going to open up her screen and start doing her craft stuff. We're going to be showing off some of the stuff. We're going to be doing some merch. I'm going to be having a new Nerf channel that's going to be opening up soon. We're going to be doing some more fun stuff. We've got a space where we can do the actual work. And uh, now that we're going to need a few days with everything else going on, we're going to need a few days of not as huge manual labor. Uh, with that being installed, we might as well sit down here and put some effort in on these fronts so we can be ready to drop you guys new content not just here but everywhere and then we'll have a lot more fun you guys will get to see some new stuff and if it's not anything you're interested in maybe other people will be and we can direct some content from there back here and we can just keep growing our community and having a lot of fun almost enough for page five and six of the uh, I think I was finishing out three. I think I had just finished three and started four. And haven't touched it all there. And that one might actually have enough to buy the battle pass because of having the battle pass last time. And the other one might have enough to almost buy it. But my switch is just, I don't even know what's going on. I had a problem with it, and it gave me shit, and it was like, okay, no. And I'm like, what do you mean? It was like, no. Kilverine is what I meant. Is that the one? Is he right after uh, Rody? Second part of Rody? Because I'm at second part of Rody. Whatever that is. I'm about to get, I think, second part of Rody. I just need him, I think. <clears throat> yeah, then I'm a page behind you. But my switch, it said I needed to clear the cache. So I cleared the cache. It still wasn't working right. So I was like, okay. So the other option it said was try deleting it. And then think about it. I deleted it. It won't re-download. It won't come up in my re-download in my re -download file. And when I go to um, the store, it says purchased. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. 
So I literally don't know what to do. Because that means it's not on there. And that's where my epic, I, I wanted to cancel the Fortnite thing on it. And maybe I can cancel the subscription still through the, and then be able to retake the subscription on my actual epic account on here after this. Because I've already paid for this month. So as long as before the 18th, I cancel it, I cancel the subscription on there so it doesn't renew, and then go to here and switch over, I'm okay. Maybe I should just take all the online games off of the Switch and just use the Switch as a card only platform right now because it seems like it's just running so damn awful i can't get anything to work and i had already set up something although it's not cement it's definitely not cement i can move that around potentially when the ps4 gets fixed i need to fit to get a thing for it I'm buying two pages at a time, physical games only, I'm thinking, yeah. Well, no, because I do have one game on there that is a digital game that Lauren bought for me. Um, the remake of Link's Awakening that they did for the Switch. Which is a really good remake, and uh, upscale and everything. That was a digital copy, which I, I need that, but... Hello! Hello. Dab, just a little dab. This man dared to use two dabs. Now he's in trouble. We refuse to be responsible. Dab, just a little dab. Take a rulers. How you doing? Back again, oh brother man. How's it going? Oh, take a Lulu. How do you do do? Oh, take a Lulu. Oh, take a Lulu. Oh, take a Lulu. Are you tickle itch? All right, well, let me dab some lemon shits. And this will be the last dab of the night, I think. Wow, lots of lag. Not on my land, I don't think. Yeah, no, my, my numbers are looking buddy boost. Drop frame zero. My KPPS is running at 27 just about. Let's see, my CPU usage is even down to 35. I'm getting a 60 FPS hitting here at a 1080p. Holy shit! We are streaming live in full. 1080 piss on you. I'm sorry, 1080p. P. P. 1080. 1080. You're a file. You're, 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 you no, you didn't. You did not just come into my chat with that shit. Oh, no, you didn't. And I know Tick just went for a schmokity bokity bokity bokity, so we can't quit yet. Because because Tick will be will be returning to the fold, and and, and needs to be told about this asshole who came in thinking they was gonna try to give me shit. You are from the stream, bitch. Woo, woo, Curdy Birdie, and Wyatt Bob both dropped that ban hammer. 
I love seeing that thing fall on you fuckers. Don't scam peeps, bitches. You know what? On that note, I'm going to tell you all something. Be good to each other. Much love. I will talk to everybody later. Ozzy out. Bye, guys.